What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. Welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm gonna give you a update on my family-friendly 5.2.6 Dolby Atmos home theater in my flex space here. This was a really fun project because I wanted to show you guys around the country that you could turn any room into a killer home theater system. We get calls all the time, customers asking, can I really do a home theater in this space or should I just forget it? Well, this room is proof that you can put a home theater into any space and that's what we do here at Dream Media. Regardless of the budget or the space, we will tailor a package to maximize the performance as well as your budget. So if you are interested in purchasing a home theater, make sure to reach out today and show your support. We ship throughout the entire nation and have preferred installers in 28 different states who can help you get it put in. And if you know what you need to purchase, you can always head over to our website at shopdreammedia.com. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a tour of where we're currently at with this theater. Let's go! All right, welcome back Dream Media family. So guys, this room has been an absolute journey. I've been working on it for months and, and now it's kind of like my studio where I can set up different stuff for you guys, check it out, do reviews, answer questions that you have about the products that we're launching. So it's a really fun area and I've actually enjoyed having all of the windows in here because it brings a lot of natural light in which is good for filming and I can also close them if I don't want any light for movie watching and TV show watching. It's been really nice having a space in the home where I could sit down with the family on the weekends and kick up my feet and enjoy my passion, which is what we do for a living here at Dream Media, building home theaters. Now, I am gonna be making some changes to the space. So that's the reason for this update is to let you know where it currently sits and that this is really one of my top recommendations for a flex space. So I wanted to review the entire system with you. I went from a pool table room in here for billiards and then I got rid of the pool table room and I turned it into just a family friendly comfy space. We had an L-shaped sectional and these big comfy chairs and a ball pit for my two-year-old and a couple 55-inch TVs up on the wall, but that just wasn't cutting it. So I decided to transform it into an actual home theater and a space that he can run around and throw all his toys because it's carpeted in here. So what I did is I wired this entire room and I actually pre-wired it for a 7.4.6 Plus, I pre-wired the ceiling for if I wanted to do a projector hanging from the ceiling up there, and I ran an additional wire for RO3D Voice of God. So I got a lot of different things in the works that I want to do, but I wanted to kind of make this like an evolution uh, of the potential options that you have whenever you're building a home theater in a space like this. And I felt like what I have currently, or what I started with, I've already been kind of doing some upgrades, but what I initially built was a fairly affordable option that still delivered incredible performance. So let's review the current products that are in the room now. All right, so let's talk about the front of the room and the video display. I am running the Epson Epic Vision LS800 4K E-Shift projector. This thing is incredible with 4K ultra short throw UST projectors breaking through into the market the last couple years. I had to get one of these into the home and do some reviews on it. Epson came out with this brand new LS800 at the end of 2022 and I saw it at Cedia and was blown away by the performance. Always have been blown away by Epson's performance to be honest with you because they are value. Bang for your buck. It's e-shift guys. That means it's emulated 4K with their 3 LCD technology. Now, we do sell native 4K projectors, but they're at a crazy price point, a lot more expensive. This is coming in at a very compelling price point. We're at $3,500 for the unit alone, just retail, and then you can pair it together with the screen. They have a 100 inch and 120 inch option for two and $3,000. And of course, we have bundled discounts when you buy everything together from us here at Dream Media. I'm rocking the 120 inch, ALR ambient light rejecting screen that also has ultra short throw properties. So it's specifically designed for this ultra short throw laser 
LS800. And it delivers a stunning picture at, again, a fairly reasonable price point. We're talking about a 120 inch image for a retail price of under $6,500. So really hard to beat this. And then I paired it together with the Salamander Designs cabinet. This is an ultra short throw cabinet that is specifically designed for the LS800. And Salamander Designs does manufacture ultra short throw cabinets and AV furniture in general, but this Epson is built for performance in a crazy good price point. And that Salamander Designs cabinet really makes it look sharp and it keeps everything operating at a very cool temperature. So that's the video setup for projector and screen. Next, let's talk about what components I have inside of the AV cabinet, the brains of the system. So I have a couple different things. As the main head unit, the AVR, which is the brain of the whole system, is the Marantz Cinema 40, which is tuned by the Marantz Soundmasters and is a 9.4 channel amplifier. Yeah, you heard me right. Four potential subwoofers can be connected to this bad boy. And it has a total of an 11.4 channel processing. So how am I running a 5.2.6? Well, you guys will have to go and check out my full video on the Marantz Cinema 40 setup guide where I walk you through it. But essentially, I have an audio control Pantages G4, which is a five channel amplifier. And audio control is one of my favorites. They perform exceptionally well, clean power, and they're still at a reasonable price point. So I figured this would be a good amplifier to pair with the Cinema 40 because I wanted to really juice up my bed layer so that all of my power was being utilized for my overhead Atmos effects. So I have for my front left, right, and center, and my surround left, right, all pre-outing of the Cinema 40 with analog cables going to my Pantages G4, and that is powering up that bed layer. Now, the overhead Atmos speakers, I have a total of six Atmos speakers. They are being powered through the built-in amplification of the Marantz Cinema 40. And the Marantz Cinema 40 is a 125 watt per channel amplifier, two channels driven, eight ohms. We have the Marantz Cinema 40 as the brain of the system. So it's processing all of my Dolby Atmos and it's sending my 4K signal to my Epson LS800. Now that Cinema 40 has the brand new HDMI 2.1, DHCP 2.3 ports on it. So it can output to much better displays in case you're running like a high-end JVC RS4100 or NZ9, or say as an example, you're running a OLED TV, it will scale all of that properly and output to any 8K source, which is great. Because a lot of my gamers out there need that high quality 8K connection and low input lag. All right, now what's connected to my Moran Cinema 40? I have, as far as sources, a Kaleidoscape, Strato C, and Terra C movie server. This is the ultimate movie player. It's pretty high end. So a lot of you guys may not want to consider this unit if you're trying to keep your whole theater budget under say 30K. But I did want to show this off as soon as I got the theater set up because if you're a movie buff and you love watching the latest and greatest movies and you want the best quality possible, you are guaranteed to get the movies before anybody else and you're guaranteed to get the best audio quality and the best video quality through the Kaleidoscape movie player system because it's downloading that studio reference level file right to the hard drive rather than relying on streaming. We love Kaleidoscape here at Dream Media. And then for my second source, I'm a big Apple fan, so I have the Apple TV 4K for everything else. My HBO, my Cinemax, Stars, whatever. Disney Plus, uh, Netflix, Hulu, there's tons of applications where you gotta have the Apple TV or some type of streaming service hooked up. In addition to that, I got a few other little components inside of the AV cabinet. I have the Claris Concerto power conditioner, and then I have an Arachnid network switch which is hardwiring all of my devices that way I can reduce the 
potential of buffering. You know, with the Apple TV, it is streaming. So you wanna hardwire it in if you can to cut back on any issues while you're streaming your content and make sure that it is buffering in the highest resolution possible. Okay, so now let's talk about the speaker system. You guys know I am a huge Focal fan. I love the Focal brand. Ever since 2019, I have fallen in love. And this system here is featuring their Flax Woofers, which is proprietary to France where they manufacture and hand built all their drivers in house and then they have their inverted aluminum magnesium dome tweeter that is a one inch aluminum magnesium inverted dome tweeter and that matches throughout my entire system for my mids and highs i have the focal 302 on wall speaker for my front left right and center speaker and i know what you guys are thinking yes the center speakers in the cabinet in upcoming videos i'm going to be mounting it to the wall but for this particular series I have been switching out a lot of components like you guys saw me review the Focal Vestia series the number one two three four well I didn't want to mount the speaker to the wall because I wanted to set up the full Vestia line as well as I did the Focal Sopra concrete speakers that concrete brown whoo man that thing was wicked I hope one day I can have something of that caliber in the house but right now I'm just trying to crank out content for you guys and answer all your questions and get the new latest and greatest tech out there so that did go back to Marantz along with their classic series NAP 250 the 222 and the uh, 300 power supply which is a great that's a stack of hi-fi gear specifically for high-res streaming anyways getting a little off topic here so for my front speakers I got the 302s and I will eventually be mounting those to the wall it at ear level and I have at the rear of the room for my surrounds the Focal IW6 300 series which again has a six and a half inch flax woofer as well as the one inch aluminum magnesium inverted dome tweeter and those do have rotatable tweeters so I have them towed in towards my target seating area Overhead, I have a total of six Dolby Atmos effects for all the helicopters and rain and you know the explosions coming from above. It's very immersive and I had them spaced out perfectly. At the front of the room, I have a pretty heavy grade. So I have that set up as the Focal 300 series ICA6, which is an aimable in-ceiling speaker. I love this speaker because you can rotate it to where you're directionally pointing the audio right towards the target seating area and then for my rears I have the standard 300 series ICW6 which is the same technology it's just not aimable and then last but not least we can't forget about our base I have the massive SVS PB16 Ultras. I got two of them. I've been wanting these in my home forever. These things go down to 13 hertz, guys. They are absolute bangers and they perform exceptionally well for the money. They're not exactly cheap, but for what you get for the money, they perform really well. I would recommend one of these over two to three low end cheaper subwoofers. I mean, they go deep to where you can feel it in your chest whenever an explosion goes off or the bass drops in a song. It's pretty epic. And then I also complimented the decor and the style of the space by running RGB lighting behind all of my snowboards as well as underneath the salamander design cabinet. And I ran it over to the subwoofers just to add a little ambiance and really put that in and tied it up to a music controller so that my kid can have some dance parties. <laughs> he loves to run around and put the music on and he'll just like get it going. We'll let him bring out all his toys and just destroy the room. So the RGBs are kind of fun. Last but not least, uh, for the lighting, I have Lutron for control and then to control the ambient light coming into the space, I have the Screen Innovations Nano Roller Shades that are in the blackout fabric and that does help with the acoustics. I have massive 12 foot high, fl almost floor to ceiling windows here beside me. And then at the back of the room, we have a whole nother wall of windows up at the top of the room. It creates incredible natural light and it's a really fun space that I think we would enjoy even more than a dedicated home theater, just because we can open up the windows and see the birds outside and feel like we're in nature, but also we're sitting 
sitting down and we can watch a TV show or a movie. It's pretty cool, especially with the super bright lumen output, this uh, LS800. I mean, you guys can see behind me the image and it's being blurred out because of the way that I have the camera set up, but <laughs> you can see the picture fine. It's a little washed out, but it's pretty impressive with the ambient light rejecting technology on this ultra short throw. It does a, an exceptional job. All right, guys, well, that is a quick little rundown on the space. I hope that you guys enjoyed this entire series of me transforming this room from a pool table room to my killer family friendly home theater. I really appreciate everybody's support from the bottom of my heart. We can't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I do have more content coming for you. That's why I made this update video because I'm gonna be changing stuff out again. <laughs> So stay tuned to the channel for more exciting information. I'm gonna be bringing more top industry leaders into the space as far as the top manufacturers and we're gonna be reviewing them and comparing them side by side. All right guys, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.